Hey everyone, happy Monday. It's Connor. We hope you're doing well. We hope that you've been enjoying these Devos Monday through Friday. If you haven't done so yet, just another reminder. I know we've been annoying about this, but get your John journal. You can pick one up at Bloomington or Normal or order one off Amazon with the link in the email, which if you're not getting the emails, make sure you subscribe by using the link in the description below. They come to your inbox every morning. It's an opportunity to start your day with Jesus through the book of John. These journals are awesome because you've got the text on one side and then some notes, space for notes, I should say, on the other. And today's Devo is really helpful if you're someone who is new to faith. We know that you know taking a first step in life can be hard. Starting new things is hard. Uh, for my family right now, uh, my I shouldn't say we're potty training my daughter. My wife is really doing the heavy lifting with that. And just getting our two and a half year old to understand how to start using the potty is really hard, right? We know that in the long term, it's not going to be as challenging. But for right now, having her take the first step and be comfortable and learn what it means to be potty trained is challenging. And the same is true just in life. Taking a first step, even in faith, can be really hard. It doesn't mean that the second and the third and the preceding steps are always challenging. It can just be hard getting off the ground sometimes. We actually see this in the book of John, chapter 3. We see this from a religious leader who loves God, but is just getting to know Jesus. And for him to take the first step is challenging because instead of meeting Jesus in the daytime, where a lot of people got to experience his miracles, Nicodemus feels like he can't do that because he's a religious leader and the religious leaders weren't so sure about this Jesus guy. So let's read about him in John chapter three and first couple of verses it says this. Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God for no one can do these, these signs that you do unless God is with him. So Nicodemus is a religious leader. He knows his Old Testament Bible, and he has an idea that this could be the Messiah, the one that God has been talking about through the prophets in the Old Testament. And he believes it, but he's not fully convinced yet. And so he actually meets Jesus as night so that at night so that the other religious leaders don't know, and it can be more of a private one-on-one -on -one conversation. Now what's interesting is throughout the book of John, there are two other uh, times where Nicodemus's name comes up. He pops up in chapter 7 and in chapter 19. Once where Jesus is kind of in the middle of his ministry and he's just referenced as the guy who met Jesus at night. And then after Jesus is crucified, Nicodemus actually shows up. And again, he's referenced as the guy who meets Jesus at night. For Nicodemus, taking the first step of faith was a big deal. And there was probably a lot of planning that took place. And for you and your faith, maybe you've been checking out church or you're just getting to know our devotionals and you're wondering what it could look like to take a first step and that might feel like a big deal. What I would say to you as an encouragement for this week to get your week started, as big as the first step can feel, taking that first step can make a big difference in your life and I would encourage you to do it. In fact, if you're checking out our church for the first time, you should check out what we call starting point. It's an opportunity, an opportunity for you to find your people in places at Eastview. In fact, go to eastview.church slash starting point. You can check out more information there. Take a first step. It's best for you. And this is what Jesus wants for you. We love you. We'll see you next time in our devos.